Uh, I think right from the start it was a natural fit between DreamWorks and HP. They came to us with a problem and HP has a long-standing history of wanting to solve problems. So they came to us and I think you also went to our competition we did. Um, and presented all of us with, with a, a problem to solve and our engineering team just jumped on it and, uh, and really, uh, as you said, uh, in 2001 they had the vision to work with a leader such as DreamWorks to actually address the needs of this new market at the time. Although I call it a new market, but uh, HP's actually been serving the film community since day one. They're the original customer for the very first HP product when it was first founded was Disney. It was an audio oscillator. So uh, I say that it's a, it was at the time a new market, but it really wasn't because they've been serving this market since they were founded 71 years ago. It was it was uh, it, it was really really fun uh, since I, I was in charge of the project to to move us on to uh, onto Linux and uh, it was great to work with HP. You know, I think part of the uh, there's guys like John Fuji who I mentioned uh, earlier. He's one of the engineers. I don't, I don't know if he's a fellow from HP uh, at this point. He should be. He should be promoted based on that. But, but he's he's also very involved in SIGGRAPH. You know, and uh, it is kind of a, a graphics geek like like many of us. And I think that you know, having having him come out, he actually came out to the studio for several weeks uh, and stayed stayed with us uh, and walked around and talked to the artists and saw what problems they were having. Because you can try to explain a problem about refresh rate and why. You know, we, we, at the time we were doing digital ink and paint. You know, it wasn't even you know CG. And so. And, and the way that they painted was to, you know, to, to click and then hit the arrow to advance a frame and then click again in all these different colors and they would move so fast. And we talked about refresh rate and he just didn't get it. He goes, why, why is that a problem? I can't. <laughs> so we brought him in and he said, okay, sit with this ink and paint artist and watch and he's like, oh my God, I get it. You know, and he would go in and just, he would fix things while we were there. So it's that, it's that level of engineering. It was, you know, it's the kind, it wasn't. It wasn't salesman that you were getting. Right. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but you were a marketer. Is there a difference? No, I'm just kidding. It, was, it wasn't. Uh, you know, you get, you get real, real engineers that, that really understood the problems that, that, you know, cared about the technology, you know, and cared about really solving those problems. And, and as I say, we're even, I mean, we, you know, John fixed a problem for us last week. So it's that continued, you know, relationship that really, you know the engineering, which which we fell in love with, right. you know, and uh, you know the ability to to back it up, you know, instead of just selling you a product and then saying I'm going to sell you this and then I'm going to go away, you know, once I made the sale. But with HP, it was really, you know, you, the, the service was very is very important, and then the, the willingness to solve new problems. I mean, we, you know, we've had a, a long relationship, just as long with HP Labs, you know, and gone up to the labs and talked about. You know, new ideas and, and areas that we that we're interested in, digital rights management. You know, uh, networking. I mean, there's all kinds. Something always new about it. Cloud computing. That they've always been very uh, interested in. Uh, yep. You know, in these ideas because I think if if they solve them for us, if we're you know, okay, so I'll brag a little bit and say, you know, we're on the leading edge for you know at least in digital content creation. So the problems that we're solving, they, they see that you know other people are going to have these same problems. We just ran into them first because we're right. pushing it a little bit farther. So that's our give back to you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so um, you know it's our marketing messaging for HP Works to Z Workstations, uh, uh, innovation, performance, and reliability. But it's not just the marketing catchphrase. It's actually, what drives our company? So we don't want to just offer a workstation that's as good as competition. We want to innovate continually make innovation, drive performance, um, and then reliability, just our, our uh, history over 71 years of being known for our reliability. Those are basically the pillars of um, HP's workstation business. The secret is, uh, well, the secret is having multiple facilities uh, with, and having a common pipeline and common tool set that you know we can have any artist anywhere work on uh, that film. Because that gives you the the flexibility 
to if if you run into a problem. Not that we ever run into problems in making right. films, except all the time. <laughs> uh, you know, you can actually throw a whole bunch of artists on. You know, to say, okay, we need to, you know, we need to redo this particular sequence, or this didn't work. Let's 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 do that. So, I think that having that infrastructure, and having that commonality, and having that machine, if you will, right. uh, really allows you to to, to get it to to you know, if you have a problem. To be able to recover from it, to, to be able to increase that scale. So I think that's 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 really that's really key. So as Jeff just mentioned, I think so he mentioned I don't know how many years ago you had a single facility, and then it moved to two, and now it's three facilities. So I think the next big challenge for us is collaboration, um, not only within California, from Southern California to Northern California, but between California and India. Um, so it's that level of collaboration um, that we're trying to bring to the desktop. We've enabled it for DreamWorks through our Halo product. Um, with our new Skyroom technology, we're bringing it to the desktop, enabling you know collaboration with high definition video, high fidelity audio, and uh, file sharing, even 3D content, um, rich media file sharing. Uh, we're bringing that functionality to the users at the desktop level. Right. Well, with, with uh, multi-core processing uh, becoming a reality pretty soon, mm -hmm. um, do you think uh, the better, cheaper, faster choose any two will actually become three and uh, the rates will come down from the production point of view as well? Well, that's a great question. Uh, so multi-core processing is here. Yep. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not coming. It's, not it's coming. here. It's here. <laughs> Uh, you know, and and we we're fully invested in. Uh, you know, this is this is probably th this past two years uh, and and into next year is our largest investment ever in uh, in research and development so around multi record everything multi else. We were taking yeah, we're we're changing everything in the, in the studio uh, from a tool set to take advantage of the of the multi core processing. And working with with HP and Intel, you know, in really understanding how to do that uh, is is going to be tremendous. We're going to change uh, the way artists work and the way films are made, you know, in the next two years.